Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 5 Server of Awesomeness. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and once again for the amount of support you have been showing for the series. It is super appreciated. Now guys, today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Conan Moore. And as you can see, what they decided to do is do like a realistic sketching of a wolf. Well, the message that came along with the fan art said it was going to be a sketching of a Minecraft wolf sort of in a realistic fashion. And it looks amazing. He did specify that it was unfinished, but even now, just, just, to, just to look at it, it looks amazing, Conan. Thank you so much. The amount of detail and the fact that it's black and white just gives it more of a sort of... I don't know, it gives it more of an atmospheric feel, kind of. I don't know, it, it looks amazing. It really does. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to send in your fan art, you can do so using the email address on the screen. You can also send it in through Twitter if you so wish. You'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Now, before we do anything else, I actually made a bit of a boo-boo in the last episode in that I didn't do the comment question on the video. So for episode 20, the Devil Reset asks, why don't you build a watchtower so if anyone tries to raid you, you will know and you can be prepared. Well, actually, that's one of the things that I eventually want to try and do. I want to have, like, a big sort of network of, like, turrets around the place, or watchtowers, as you were saying. A nice network of them all, all around the place, just so we can, you know, keep an eye on things, you know. So, yeah, that's going to be a good one. I would definitely put that down on my list of things to do, alongside everything else that you guys have been suggesting. Now, hello, hello! How are you guys all doing today? There's a lot of guys in here, huh? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Wow, look at all these guys. So despite the fact I've got it on the AFK setting, there's still a bunch of guys down here. Look at this. We've got iron dudes. We've got gold guys down here. I mean, this is kind of crazy. There's a lot of dudes here, huh? <laughs> what the hell, dude? There's so much. Wait, hang on a minute. No. Are you going to tell me there's a diamond dude in there? Hold on a minute. I I'm going to try and uh, do... Oh. Yo, i got to try... Can I like... Oh. I was trying to dwindle them down. I don't know if I can. Right. Uh, looting sword. I want to grab out my looting sword here. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get some diamond armor. Oh no, he's still alive. Look at that. Yeah, there's a diamond dude. Holy crap. Okay. Right. Did he drop any diamond armor? That is the question. I have looting three. Come on, boys. Let there be something diamondy. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, man, that sucks, man. <laughs> a diamond zombie, though, man. That is incredibly rare. That really is very, very rare indeed. <laughs> that is fantastic, though. Okay, right. Well, anyways, moving on. What we're going to be going ahead and doing today, my friends, to start off with, is we're going to go ahead and beautify this place. Beautify? We're going to make this place look a lot more beautiful. We're going to have some trees and bushes and, and long grass and a lamppost here, like I said there would be. And I think it's going to look really, really cool. I've also gone ahead and ventured out since the last episode. I got myself a sunflower here. Because eventually what I want to do is have like an automatic like sunflower slash double tall flower farm kind of thing. Uh, whereby you put bone meal in, you get a whole bunch of stuff out of it. You know, you know how it goes, guys. You know how it goes. So, yeah. Anyways. Ooh, bones galore. Look at this. So many. So many bones for the Pythonator. Fantastic. Right. So, we've got spruce wood. That is all good. Uh, I think what I would also like to do is grab out some slaplings. How about some slaplings? Hey, Where are they all? Where did I place all the saplings? Ah, oh, there's some in there. Uh, aha! The one in here. Fantastic. Right, what kind of wood do I think I want to use? I'm thinking just regular oak, you know. Right. So here we go. Let's place you down there. Let's go and bone meal you up. Ah, oh, man. I was kind of hoping for a tall tree if I'm entirely honest with you guys, but... Eh, that's not too bad. It's not the worst thing in the world, it has to be said. Uh, right, the question is, do we have any regular oak wood? I don't think we do. I think we actually used it all. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Gosh darn it. Right, I think what I'm going to do in which case is I'm going to try and get myself a taller tree. So, yeah, give me a sec. Oh, look at that. That's much more like it. A gigantic oak tree and a pocket tree, as I like to call them. <laughs> That's amazing. Brilliant. Okay. That is actually really, really cool. So, uh, what I would like to do next. Do I have any iron? I would like to grab myself... Aha! 
a pair of, actually no, let's use them. Uh, yeah, we've got a pair of shears here, which is fantastic. I'm going to go grab myself some leaves so I can indeed do the whole, uh, you know, making some little bushes thing. So let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, while we're doing this, I can actually let you guys know of something. Let you guys know of something? Does that make grammatical sense? I have no idea. But anyways, uh, I digress. So, one of the things I've actually decided to set up recently is a Reddit. A subreddit. So, it is reddit.com slash r slash pythongb. If you guys want to go ahead, head over there. That'll be the place where I'm active more often than not. Because I feel like the spammy nature of YouTube comments kind of gets in the way of the experience of being able to, you know, to really communicate with you guys effectively. You know what I'm saying? So, in the case of, you know, Reddit, uh, I feel like people can just speak on there, speak their mind, and not really have too much spam going on, you know? So, that's that's why I've gone ahead and done that. So, if you guys are interested, if you guys want to, you know, keep up to date with stuff, or you want to go ahead and uh, talk to me, for example, you can, of course, go ahead and do that using the subreddit. So, yeah, like I said, reddit.com slash r slash pythogb is the place to go if you want some subreddit -y goodness of goodiness-iness. I'm so good at talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I am. I am such a funny person. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Aha! Okay, so as you can see, this is looking pretty decent. Okay, does this, uh, this is going to, this is actually not going to hit the wall. That's actually kind of awesome. Right, uh, I want to go ahead and make sure that this place is opened up here, because that is what we need to have be the case. So I need to grab myself some grass blocks out real quick. I want to go ahead and uh, make the entrance into the side area here. I can't be bothered to wait, so let's do a little bit of that. And then, yeah, that, that'll go inside there, and then all will be good. Okay, fantastic. Right, well, uh, in the meantime, we can maybe... I'm thinking of starting to build up this corner here, just so we can have a, a proper look at how it's going to look, I guess. Hmm, I'm trying to think of a design, though. Do I want to go for just concrete, or do I want to go for concrete and glass again? I'm kind of liking the concrete and glass combination, you know? Hmm. I've got plenty of concrete, actually, which is really, really nice. Uh, any more? Uh, huh. Uh, got some white glass, which is awesome. Uh, got a little bit more in there. And, yeah, that's just about it, apparently. Okay, right. I'm going to go ahead and build up this wall real quick, and we'll see what we can come up with, my friends. Alright, guys. So, progress update. As you can see, we've got another gigantic tree back here. <laughs> Actually looks kind of nice, but this is the wall design I've gone for. It's a very broadly similar design to the kind of thing we've got going over there. But as you can see, it's looking a bit dark and gloomy at the moment, isn't it? So I think what we're going to go ahead and do next is grab the sea lanterns and also a bunch of water. And we are going to put the sea lanterns behind the water and therefore it should light up the corners very, very nicely. Now, obviously, we need to bear in mind the fact that we want ourselves a secondary walkway. And I'm just trying to think the height of said walkway might just go along the top here. I think that could be a pretty cool idea, you know. Uh, the question is, what do we use... For a material. I could use path blocks again. But I think we would need to put something underneath. Okay. We need to put something underneath. In order for it to look okay from the bottom as well. Because obviously we're going to be able to see the bottom of the pathway. Very very easily. So I'm going to go and grab out some grass blocks. And what I'm thinking. Is maybe just using some oak slabs. I'm thinking of using some oak slabs in terms of the underside of the block. So if we just like, for example, grab out a whole bunch of these. And if I go ahead and I need a block here. Uh, so let's just head up to the top here. All we are going to do. Hmm. Just thought of a better idea, actually. Hmm. Python is thinking dot exe. Maybe what I do. Okay. Now bear with me. We're going to have something like this. But then, oh gosh darn it, but then the pathway, if I just head back up here, da -da 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 -da, head back up here, the pathway is going to be above that level there, okay? So the roof here is going to be replaced with slabs, and then it's also going to expand out to the underside of the pathway, okay? Hopefully you guys get what I mean when I say I'm doing that, so let us see what we can do here, folks. Oh 
Right guys, so this is what I was on about. We've got some path blocks up here now. And if we just hop down here, as you can see on the underside, it is it is oak slabs. So yeah, it's not looking too bad. Obviously, we need to put a railing of some description, some lighting. I'm thinking of putting some sea lantern sort of in the center of the pathway, maybe like dangling down or something as well. I don't know. I think there's a lot of possibilities that can be uh, done here with this pathway. Like, I honestly think this will be a really, really good thing for us, my friend. So, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. But, you know, that's just a little taster of what's to come in terms of the pathways. But for now, like I said, I would really like to try and focus on getting this corner area done. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and continue working on the corner area here. We're going to go and dig out some blocks, get some water down because the water is there. So I'm kind of going with the same sort of water design, just with some uh, just with some sea lanterns behind it, as I mentioned. The, the only reason there's lava sort of near the top is because uh, you guys suggested it, and yeah, it looks kind of nice. Although, I don't know, some of you guys will be suggesting that we do, like, one or the other, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I kind of like the idea of having both, you know, both, both, you know, water and fire, as it were, two of the earthen elements. But so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see what we can do here, my friends. I'm back in a boat. And here we go, my friends. Now, as you can see, the only two sections we have not filled in with water and sea lanterns is the middle two sections here. And that is because these middle two sections are the entrance. I'm not entirely sure how to combat that. Maybe I could simply go ahead and make some sort of roof here. So we've got ourselves like a little room back here. Like I said, I want to have like staircases and little mini farms back in these corners. So as a matter of fact, that's not that bad of an idea, is it? Huh. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. And then we can do something here. Just a little something something. Something like this. Fill that in like that. Okay. Maybe we could put like a sea lantern in there as well. Like right here. Okay. Not looking too bad. Maybe we make this into a full square. What do you guys think? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we've got ourselves like a proper little room back here now. And we don't even need these anymore, do we? Uh, nine, eight, nine, eight. Okay. So yeah, mobs won't be able to spawn in there. Fantastic. Okay, so that means we can indeed put water in between in well behind this section here rather like the other sections So uh, let's have a bit of a look. We want to look at it from like a top something uh, Maybe I should just use an ender pole, huh? <laughs> okay, so let's just go up there. Aha! There we go. All right, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking how subtle the the sea lantern textures are behind the behind the water. I think it looks really good. Obviously, it adds a lot of brightness to the build, which I can really appreciate. And yeah, just just all in all, it looks pretty good. I'm actually really really happy with it. So yeah, hopefully you guys are digging it too. And yeah, guys, I think it might be time to get back to to beautifying this place down here, or making it just look better. So let's go and grab our leaves. Let's grab out a glowstone and our uh, bone meal, should I say? And yeah, maybe. We can go and start placing down some more trees. What do you guys think? Maybe we can... Is there even a slight chance we could put a tree here? I mean, if I, like, move this... If I temporarily remove all this, uh, it needs a 2x2 two two space all around the tree, okay? So a 2x2 two two sort of uh, radius kind of deal. So I need to grab myself a piece of dirt. Hey, Mr. Ren, how you doing there, brother? Right, so yeah, let's grab this out and let's go ahead and place it down. And I want just a little tree, little something, something. Oh, that's perfect. That is literally absolutely perfect. Thank you, Minecraft, for actually doing as I like. <laughs> Not very often you do that. Thank you. Right, okay. So let's maybe place down a bit of glowstone right there. We can put a little sort of... A little bit of that right there. Yeah, that's looking decent. Okay. Maybe we can do something over here of a similar kind of thing. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Uh, we want to try and reduce the amount of... Uh, the amount of, what's the word I'm looking for, torches around here, because I think the torches are going to take away from the sort of modern but ye olde feel. I mean, I kind of like the torches on there. I think they look pretty good. Although, actually... Huh. That actually looks better. Huh. I could maybe even go one better than that, guys. Give me a sec here. I just wanna, I just wanna experiment with a little something, something. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I could play some of these on like that. Uh, huh. 
I'm not entirely sure about that one. Maybe I can just maybe connect some fences to the sea lanterns instead. And sort of connect them to the tree as if it was actually part of the tree. Maybe that would be a cool idea. Uh, let's grab out some of those in which case. Okay, so do these actually connect? They don't. Ah, well then, uh, I guess there goes that idea, huh? Right, I do want to kind of uh, make this tree a bit more sort of beefier though, because it looks kind of like proportionally wrong, like it's all slanted on one side. Like, I'm thinking that's already looking better because I've sort of thickened it a little bit, if you will. Uh, ha, okay. Yeah, that's looking decent. That is looking decent. And then maybe what we can start doing as well. Uh, where's my sea lanterns gone? Did I place them away like an idiot? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, so maybe what else we could do is place some sea lanterns in there like so. So, you know, each of the trees actually, you know, double up as giving off light as well. Huh. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. Looking decent. All right, so we've got three trees in here. We've got an apocryphal tree, which uh, which kind of doubles up as a lamppost. And then we've got these two trees right here, which again, I think look really, really nice. So maybe what we do next is we just get back to the glowstone and the bone meal. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try to make this place look as good as possible, I guess. Let's get on with it. And here we go, my friends. We have just about got this place done. This little sort of mini stone storage, mini town section. I think this looks really, really nice. You know, it's got sort of a naturistic ye olde, but somehow also modern feel. Like, it's kind of, I don't know. I think as soon as you start adding sea lanterns into an otherwise ye olde build, it kind of modernizes it quite a lot, doesn't it? Uh, along with the glowstone. I think that does a better job. Uh, sea lanterns are a much more modern looking block than glowstone, but because I've got these sort of uh, trapdoors around it, I think it looks really, really nice, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys are liking it. Uh, I've also gone ahead and made sure that all of the light levels are above 7, so absolutely no hostile mobs will be able to spawn here. I've made sure of that all of the light levels are above 7, so, yes, all is good. So, one of the things I forgot to mention in the last episode was the fact that I've actually gone ahead and uh, I organized all of my chests. As you can see, there are no more chests here. The only chests here are stuff that aren't stone related and, you know, just generic items. We still need to make like a massive storage warehouse kind of deal so we can actually store everything. So, yeah, but in the meantime, this is my little stone village, if you will. So in this one, again, we've got cobblestone. This one is nearly entirely full. Almost 16 double chests completely full of cobblestone. It's actually kind of ridiculous. So, yeah, we've got like other cobblestone related stuffs here as well. So, stuff like cobblestone walls and mossy cobble. Uh, we've even got furnaces in there. So, yeah, that's all looking good. So, moving on, obviously, we've got the stone hut. So, you know, solid stone everywhere. And then somewhere around here, we've got like solid stone related stuff. So, stone bricks. I think I might try and divide off the stone bricks elsewhere. Maybe we put them like on these back four chests here. Obviously, it would be nice if we had a cow farm down here. Then we could put item frames everywhere. But, uh, yeah, this one, of course, we've got andesite, this side, polished andesite. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Diorite, no polished diorite because I haven't got any. <laughs> and then granite. And then, again, no polished granite because I don't have any. So, yeah. But, anyways, look at this, man. I feel, it feels so nice to be able to walk through here, man. Like, this space, this entire space was just blank at one point. And now we're starting to fill it up. And it looks really nice. I think once this entire project is done, it is going to look absolutely incredible. I really, really do think it's going to look incredible. And I hope you guys will be able to stick with me until the end. Because believe me, I think it's going to be worth it, my friends. So in the meantime, my friends, I think it's time to move on. Alright guys, so the final thing I want to do in today's episode is I want to quickly make a rudimentary staircase getting up to this area up here. I think what would be a good idea is if we started off from the top and uh, if we just sort of figure out something here. We need to remember that we're placing down some grass blocks like this, okay? So this is going to be the actual level where we start going down, okay? So, as you can see down here, this is where the room is. The staircase is going to go there, so, hmm... I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. Maybe we could do this one diagonally and then these two could sort of meet up at the back diagonal. Does that make sense to you guys? Do you know what I'm saying when I say that? It's kind of a difficult thing to explain. Let me tell you. But uh, we're going to see if we can do it anyway. So if we like start like this and then we just go down. Ah, oh, dang it. In a sort of diagonal fashion rather like we are doing currently. Uh, ah. Problem. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, 
that there. E. E. There we go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. There we go. Right, and now I need to get rid of the, uh, the, yeah, a little bit of that. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we're going to go down in a diagonal, like I said. So, once again, boom, 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 boom. No, hang on. That goes down. So, there, there. And then that will go there. Okay, fantastic. So I want... Oh, god damn it! I'm stuck at the top now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and try this. So let's just go back up top here. Whoop. Oh, the ender pearls. Oh, hello. <laughs> Inside the glass. So yeah, there we go. And if we just do a little, do a little bit of this. Uh, now that one's getting rid of. And then that's going like that. Yeah, not doing too bad, not doing too bad. So like I said, I want to try and have the staircase sort of meet up in the in the back diagonal corner over here. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that real quick. I will be back with a progress update in just a moment here. Hey right, guys, and here we go. We've got ourselves a little staircase going on here. So if we were to just go ahead and give it a quick run, we'd go up here, go around the corner, do a bit of a J turn, and then bada big bada boom, there we are. We are now at the top in the top walkway. Oh man, this is going to be so good. Like, we'll be able to see out over the entire town slash city under here, man, or above here. Oh, man, I can just imagine how amazing this is going to be once it's all done. But, uh, yeah, I think the other test I wanted to quickly give a go uh, after putting down some torches real quick is I want to try and bring Danky up here, okay? I want to try and bring Danky up here, see if he'll actually fit through. He should be able to fit through the uh, through the town area, but it's just the rest of it, which I'm unsure about. So, here we go. Let's go and do that. Place that back in. And here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way through this place. Hey, so far so good. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. There was a bit of a hurt. Oh, I think it was this thing here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll get rid of that. And uh, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness me, this is brilliant. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Danky, danky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down with those dank memes there, brother. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing though. Wow, he is really freaking out, huh? He doesn't quite know what to do with himself. But there we go, my friends. We're riding Danky around on the catwalk. <laughs> this is amazing, man. Oh, I'm so glad that I decided to make this place horse friendly. It's going to make things a little bit easier in terms of getting around the place. I mean, there's speed too all over the place, obviously, but it's just nice to not have to walk around every now and again, huh? Okay, amazing. Right, so I think what I'm going to go and do is I'll do this room and the decoration in the next episode. I think we might go and put ourselves a chicken cooker in here as well. And yeah, from doing that, we should be okay in terms of food. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, it is going to be time to end the episode. But before we head off, guys, we are going to jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from the Mr. Sir Guide. Dude, your portal. Fix it. Ah. Portal? I mean, is there something wrong with this? Is there something wrong with the obsidian that I'm using? I mean, maybe maybe I can replace it with a certain different block? Let's have a look real quick. Ah, you see, that's much more like it, isn't it? That is a much better looking portal. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course you are excited to see more, be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. It would be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And that is going to wrap it up. Thank you very, very much for watching. And indeed, for the continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.